Sharon Vaughn going into the Songwriters Hall of Fame tonight. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm still numb. I really can't believe this is a surreal thing. It's wonderful. You know, I've talked to you different times throughout your career and, you know, the times that songs would come out and talk about how well a song did. But if, I'm, if I, my memory is correct, your first cut was a really big artist. Right. My first cut was Y'all Come Back Saloon by the Oak Ridge yeah. Boys, and, and, um, and it was a shock. And it, it took a long time for me to realize that this was what I could do for a living. Because <laughs> my second cut was My Heroes Have Always Been Cowboys. Uh, so it was kind of boom, boom. Well, the thing I think about both of those songs, of course, the Oak Ridge Boys, that was a monumental song for them. Yeah. Because at the time, for those who may not be as old as me, uh, they were coming from gospel. And for them to sing a song that had saloon in it, you had to be just sitting on pins and needles wondering what that would do for them. You know, it was, as I said, it was a shock, but uh, that was their first secular song that they ever had released. And I think they were sitting on pins and needles as well because they developed an artist, I mean, a, a following for all those years in the gospel music realm. But in that song, there are references to gospel music or gospel things like I use the word tithes and and benediction and that sort of thing. Well, it sure was a good way to put put them on a fast road, you know, in the country yeah. music industry. And I have to point out, I mean, because when a song is monumental to someone's career, I mean, that that's yeah. one of the reasons you're here in the Hall of Fame. These yeah. songs that make a difference mm -hmm. and um, understand that with the with the Waylon song, Waylon of course cut it and then it ended up in a Robert Redford movie with Willie Nelson right. singing it. But uh, I think as a lesson to all songwriters, the way you got that cut, <laughs> it, please tell this story because people say, how can I become a songwriter? This is like uh, perseverance, I think. Well, you just have to be brazen. You know, you, and, um, I had written My Heroes Have Always Been Cowboys because I was asked by a producer to write a cowboy song for uh, Bobby Bear. And Bear passed on the song. So I was the session singer at the time and running back and forth in between the offices. And so I just grabbed my reel-to-reel -reel tape and proceeded to go down the road and play it, just walked in to Waylon's office. and Like I, everybody would, you Of know. course. <laughs> See, I was doing commercials, TV commercials yeah. at the time. I was the Ray Bats girl. And so little did I know that Waylon Jennings had a crush on the Ray Bats girl. So, uh, Hazel Smith was at the desk and she said, Waylon, the Ray Bats girl here is here. She wants to play you something. And so he let me in and um, he played the first verse of it and stopped it. He said, who wrote this song? And I said, I did. And he said, really? So he ran it back, played it again, stopped it again. He said, I want to know who wrote this damn song. <laughs> About this time, Swamp Girl's getting a little noogie, you know. So anyway, um, after he played it through three times, he picked up the phone on his desk and called uh, Jack Clement in Beaumont, Texas. He said, Colonel, you got to get here tonight. We got us a song to record. Wow. And he recorded it that night. Wow. That's the way to do it. <laughs> and it was side one, cut one on the uh, Outlaws album. And still just a heavy song today in, in cl yeah. classic that gets played on radio. Unfortunately, yeah. yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Sharon. Have a wonderful time tonight. Thank you so much. Um, I'm deeply honored and humbled by you know my, my company in this. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Sharon Vaughn. Thank you so much. This is CDX.